When discussing sounds, it is common to think of them in terms of sinusoidal waves. Sinusoidal waves are defined by their amplitude, wavelength, and frequency. The amplitude of a wave is its height from the center line to the peak. The wavelength is the distance between two identical points on the wave, such as two peaks or two troughs. The frequency is the number of waves that pass a given point per second. Sound is created when something vibrates. The vibration causes the air molecules around it to vibrate as well. These vibrations travel through the air and are detected by our ears. The frequency of the wave determines the pitch of the sound. The amplitude of the wave determines the loudness of the sound. Different sounds have different characteristic frequencies. For example, the sound of a police siren has a very high frequency, while the sound of a bass drum has a very low frequency. The human ear can detect frequencies between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz. The wavelength of a wave also affects the sound that is heard. For example, sound waves with shorter wavelengths are perceived as higher pitched than those with longer wavelengths. This is why sounds from smaller objects, such as a mosquito, are higher pitched than sounds from larger objects, such as an elephant. The amplitude of a wave also affects the sound that is heard. The human ear can detect sound waves with amplitudes as small as 0.000002 meter. These sound waves are very soft and are called faint sounds. Sound waves with larger amplitudes, such as those produced by a loud rock concert, are called loud sounds. Even though we typically think of sounds as being continuous, they are actually made up of tiny particles called sound waves. These sound waves are what our ears detect and translate into the sounds that we hear. For more about this topic and access to virtual simulation, I have left an access link in the description box. If you enjoyed the content of this video, kindly subscribe to my channel. Also share and like. Enjoy the rest of the simulation.